a brand new English for Advancement program has kicked off in Lynn, Lawrence, Lowell, and Boston. It's part of a Pay for Success initiative and the only one of its kind in the country. It provides free English classes as well as job coaching and job placement for non-native speakers. The Lynn Economic Opportunity is working with local partners and workforce development leader JVS in helping more of the city's residents improve their English, get jobs, support their families, contribute to the local economy. The project aims to serve 1,000 more over a three-year period. Here to tell us more, we've invited Lillian Romero. She's Chief Program Officer for Lynn Economic Opportunity Incorporated and Alyssa Brooks. She is the Project Manager for Pay for Success JVS. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Lillian, let me start with you. Uh, just, uh, just begin with the program. It sounds like it's a pretty much a needed service uh, in today's very diverse commonwealth that's getting more diverse every day. Exactly, and it's a perfect match for us in Lynn, um, because in Lynn, our community, we, there's over 34 different languages spoken in that um, community, so it's a perfect match for, for us. Mm -hmm. And talk to me a little bit more about that, I guess, uh, uh, how this works in, in the city of Lynn, because t tell me about the city of Lynn in, in terms of its match for this program. Well, like I mentioned, we have a huge population of non-native speakers, English speakers. So this program, actually, what it does is that it provides that English level that they need to be able to then get a, get a job. And it's a program that we, we partner with JBS, which we are very um, happy um, to be part of it. And Lynn, um, it's one of those communities that, you know, there are so many people that sometimes don't have access or don't know how to access certain opportunities, and job is one of them. So this program and provides that. Now, Alyssa, tell me, talk to me about how this ties into uh, Pay for Success. Uh, can you sort of give us a little overview of uh, Pay for Success for the viewers? Of course. So Pay for Success is a new way to fund social programs and programs like these. And what it does is private investors invest the money to pay for the service. So our students re receive the service free of charge. Um, and then we help them reach their goal. And if we reach the goal of the program and the project is outlined in our contract, then the Commonwealth pays back the initial investors. And so the goal of this program is to help our students get a new or better job. Now, you've got a goal of, of tr serving more than a thousand people in three years. I guess, uh, how do you outreach and get folks enrolled? It's a great question. Um, and a thousand is a lot of people over three years. So first, what we've done is partner with great community partners like Leo and El Hand and Lynn, and we're operating in six different sites. Um, and we're doing outreach both on the ground with their teams and talking to people, having conversations, letting them know about this new resource in their community that's available. And we also have a presence online. We have an active social media presence. We're on the radio. We're in um, print media both in different languages and in English so newspapers and online um, and we just want more people to know about this resource and so we're working with our community partners to get the information out. Lillian what makes this program so so different from the other programs? What makes it unique? Well, the uniqueness of it is that it fills a gap. Um, as I said before, we have a huge um, a group in, in Lynn that can benefit. So one of the uniqueness is the one-on-one -on -one coaching that they receive, their services, and it's driven, it's a program that is driven by the, by the client. But another component of it is the link to the local employers. So local uh, uh, program participants are linked with local employers, uh, and it's based also in their, what they want to do. Um, so depending on the skill sets, they, they, they work with the one-on-one -on -one coaching and it's driven, as I said before, driven by the, by the client. So if the client wants to take a little longer to prepare for the, for, for, to be ready, so if their English is not where it needs to be at the time, they have a period of time where they can indicate when they're ready to start looking for a job. And Alyssa, talk to me about how these programs uh, really, I guess it helps government better serve the, the people that it's uh, supposed to be serving. Yep. So as we all know, there's limited resources that are available um, to go to programs. Um, and each year, those resources can be reallocated. So in terms of making sure that programs that need funds to scale are available, it's difficult 
um, based in kind of our current system. And so what this program does is it um, brings in a different resource. A private investor puts in the money. And then if we hit our goal, then the government pays them back. So it's a win-win. Our students are reaching their goals, and the government is only paying for a program that is proven successful. So it's a more effective way to use government funds and in a way that um, is leading to success for everyone involved. Uh, Lillian, talk to me a little bit more about the, uh, the, the, the coaching part. What do you do with the job coaching? Well, one of the things that they do, which is unique, is the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so part of it is that JBS works with local employers to find out what are the, the different uh, positions that they have and what skill set they need. Then they work with the students on improving their English, making sure that they have the skill set for that job, and then they get linked. And I think one of the, the successes is that it's a win, win situation for not only the employer, but also for the students in the community. Okay, and Alyssa, how does uh, one get involved, or uh, if anybody wants wants to be involved, or not just to get involved in the program to help out in the program? So the first step to get into this program is to attend an orientation. We call those information sessions, and we hold, the, hold them about once a week in our sites. Um, the locations for our sites are available online on our website, or students can call 617-399-3399 to talk directly with a member of our team to help them find the session that's closest to them. And I would just uh, encourage people to go to our website to find out ways to get involved either in this program, other programs, or volunteering. Okay, sounds very good. There. Anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, either one of you about the program, but, uh, why you think people should be um, should take a serious serious look at this? Well, I think it provides you know the um, it first is free. One of, that's one of the key things um, for our community. And second is it provides them the, the, the skills that they need. And it also provides them with some of the coachings that sometimes they don't get if they were just to take a regular English class. Okay, and uh, Lillian Romero, Alyssa Brooks, thank you both for coming in. Good luck with the program and uh, maybe we can, you can come back and give us an update on uh, how it's going. Thank you. Okay, all right, thanks for coming in. Well, keeping a light of optimism through music and faith. Details right here on Urban Update.